Almost out of daylight, and it has been like this all day long. I'm pretty sure the rain has stopped, but it's just been crappy and cold and like foggy. It's just been a dreary, gloomy day. What is up, guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever it is for you. I hope you're all having a great day today, and welcome back to another vlog. So, no matter what the weather is around you today, I really do hope that you had an awesome day today, or you're making the best of it, no matter what the weather is. Like, it's just crappy out there. I wanted to get outside and I wanted to do stuff today. I wanted to come back strong after my little break yesterday, but it's just been bad. I've been lazy. <laughs> I've been just trying to catch up on sleep too. Much needed rest and I feel recharged. I feel ready to go and just ready to get back into vlogging. Now yesterday I had my camera on me all day long. I was ready to go whenever I felt like starting the vlog and that just did not happen whatsoever. Around 5 p.m. I finally just said, you know what? It's not gonna happen today. I need to take the day off. It'll be good to take a break. I know I like pride myself or whatever on having a video out every single day, no matter what the content is within it. But I said yesterday, I just need to live within the moment and I need to just take some time off and be with friends. And that's exactly what I did was with the core team yesterday, had my meeting in the afternoon, then core team. Then we went out last night after core team for the first time ever. And it just was an awesome, awesome experience. But what really does suck about this whole thing is that yesterday marked the end to an almost 600 vlog upload streak. No matter what kind of vlog I was putting out, whether it was a weekly vlog, a two-day vlog, or two four-day vlogs, or whatever you wanted to call them, split up, I always had a video out when I said I was going to put a video out. And I kind of do feel bad that I didn't upload because there's a lot of people that look forward to watching my videos every single day. But I'm going to be active all day on social media, so for future reference, do not follow me on any of my social medias. The links are down in the description below. And then I also have my three most prominently used social medias on my end card as well. So you can go get the usernames from there and just keep up with me when I don't upload a vlog. Yesterday, I took off from social media completely because it was just a burnout altogether that was catching up with me. Like I was burned out and needed that break. But now I'm back. I'm recharged. I'm active. Let's do this, guys. Let's have an awesome rest of the day and let's just just put a smile on her face. See you as you are, villain in your veins. Why you gotta show disdain? Gang of a hundred useless pawns. I'm alright, fly as paper planes. We will never let you reign. Bang out my drumline till the dawn. I see you standing still out in the open. I know my opponents know the deal. Lined up for my so the last time I did upload a vlog, which was Monday, I had to go through an entire process on Sunday night in order to get my footage off of the camera onto my computer. So for some reason the other night, this little slot down here, which is the SD card reader, just stopped working. Like literally you would plug in an SD card and it's not popping up on the computer whatsoever. So that led to me trying to figure out how to get the footage off the camera onto the computer. I thought it might be as simple as getting a cable, plugging it into this USB slot, and then plugging it into the camera's micro USB slot, and hoping that it would work, and that didn't either. Now skip forward probably about two and a half hours of trying and failing later, and we're probably at about three in the morning at this point, and I discovered that Canon has an app called Canon Camera Connect that allows you to connect your camera via Wi-Fi to any Apple or Android device, and have all the footage that is on the SD card within that camera pop up on the phone. Once you're in the app, got your Wi-Fi and everything all hooked up to your camera, and the footage pops up on your phone, you can from there download it all to your camera roll and then do with it as you please. For me, I had to send it via email to myself, so that way I could go on my computer, open the email, download it whichever way it needed me to download it, whether it was through iCloud sharing or just a regular download link, and throw it into a folder so that way I could throw it into my editing software and finally edit the video. So a ton of extra steps just to be able to do something as simple as getting my footage onto the computer so that way I could edit a vlog, but it was all worth it in the end so that way that vlog could get edited and uploaded and I surprised 
surprised myself being able to edit that in an hour and a half the other night. <laughs> it was something else. I'm hoping that this SD card reader on the computer starts working again, or I'm gonna order one on Amazon that you can just plug into a computer and then you put, like, you can put four SD cards in the reader at one time, and hopefully one of those solutions won't work in the end. But just know I will always find a way to get the vlogs edited no matter what, even if it does take me till five in the morning. Finally, time to sit down for dinner tonight. We have got some au gratin potatoes. We have got pork chops with barbecue sauce, green beans, and two Pillsbury buttermilk biscuits. This looks amazing. Time to dig in. When can we meet? Cause baby, I've been trying to. You on the move, let's move to find some time to. You know I love the view from right behind you. But I can't wait to get caught up with you. I'ma keep running till I'm all the way caught up with you I'ma keep chasing till I'm all the way caught up Wrapped up dinner a little while ago and then just sat around, relaxed, watched some phone games, watched some YouTube, checking some emails and stuff like that, waiting on some very important emails that I will be telling you guys about in the next couple of days, two weeks, because I got to figure out what's going on with everything before I reveal any of this stuff because I don't want to put something out there that's not going to end up happening. I've done that in the past where I hype something up a lot and then it doesn't end up happening and then I look like a complete idiot when I'm like, yeah. It's not happening though. So I've learned with certain things. You just got to keep it a secret until it's time However, it is almost 8 30 in the evening right now I need to get set up for the heart as nails call We are doing the divine mercy chaplet tonight with all of the prayer partners like we do every Tuesday night After yesterday with all of the news and all of just the ups and downs of yesterday I really need this phone call tonight. It is definitely going to be well worth it Might film the chaplet might not not hundred percent sure yet But you know you guys will find out if I film it in the next few clips for the faith, for the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the faith, for the sorrowful passion, have mercy on them and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on Antonio and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on Braden and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul, and the Christ in atonement for our sins. 
and those of the whole world for the sake of this sorrowful passion. Have mercy on Chris and Trevor and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on Father Page and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on Justin and Mary and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on the potential missionaries and silent callers and on the whole world. For the sake. The sorrowful passion. Have mercy on the two participants and on the whole world. Holy, mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal you didn't want heaven without us So Jesus, you brought heaven down My sin was great, your love was greater Oh, I could say Been sitting here for the last five minutes watching this try to send an email to myself and it is literally just being slow as can be it's all the way at the end the blue line like it loads and it's just like frozen or whatever what I'm trying to do right now is get a head start on transferring all the footage from the camera to my phone to my email then to my computer so that way when I go to sit down to edit the vlog I don't have to take 20 minutes out of my time when I'm going to edit to get all of that footage transferred. All I have to do now is literally go on my computer, go to my email, download it all, put it in the folder that I want it to go into, and then I can just put it into the editing software and begin editing. Still have no idea if that email sent or not. I'm really hoping it did. <laughs> I'm gonna check that in a few minutes. But tonight's call was absolutely amazing. I loved filming every bit of the chapbook that I did. I cannot wait to sit down and cut that together and see how it turns out, but I really, really needed this call tonight after the day that I had yesterday and just the craziness that was going on, but it was absolutely beautiful. Like I could feel it, the power of just the Holy Spirit coming down upon us and everybody could feel it tonight. And my friend Erin like said that she, I couldn't really tell myself, but she said she almost cried or that she did cry during the chaplet. And I felt that in like my voice, I just felt like this power that I've never felt before within my voice to be able to sing the chaplet and I felt like if we would have kept going if there was more like it would have built up into like me crying and you know that is completely fine in life we have to admit that we're broken and that is something that is hard for a lot of people to admit but when it comes to being in the church nobody's perfect Nobody's in the church because they're perfect, because they have it all figured out. We're in the church because we're broken and we don't have it figured out and we need someone to help us. We need a savior to help us and that's what this is all about. This is what it's always been about and it always will be about. And that is what is so special about it. The church isn't made up of perfect people. The church is made up of broken people. That's what I love. 
Um, but with that being said, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching because I really do appreciate it. I want to welcome any brand new viewers that are here right now. I love it that you found my videos and I hope that you come back for more. If you enjoyed this and you so desire to slap a like on it, don't forget to turn those post notifications on down below so that way you never miss when I upload a brand new video to this channel. Also, while you're down there, if you have not already, click that big red subscribe button so that way, you know, you get subscribed to all of the awesomeness that MJC Vlogs is. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another brand new daily vlog. Vlog. Remember to stay awesome, keep smiling, you're beautiful, and I love you guys so much. Peace out, YouTube. I think I'm falling for my side. Falling for my side. Falling for my side. Falling for my side. Now I really wanna kick it, I get it, but it's time.